What is up, YouTube? And for those of you who don't know me, and you're wondering what you stumbled into, you've stumbled your way into Germany. And those who know who I am, welcome back. So, here in Germany, it is late September. And winter's just about here. It's getting chilly. So, got to get this heater all squared away. Those of you who, who know me know I heat with wood. And, well, we're going to install some smart thermostats to control that floor heating. So, stay tuned. All right, y'all. So, as I was saying, we heat with wood here on the homestead. And yeah, um, we have this heated floor in this room here. And what we have controlling the heated floor right now is pretty much the pump controls. How fast the water and what tap I let it come through. Because when these were, these thermostats were originally installed, um, there was issues with them and, um, I, I don't know if it was from the installation or what, but at any rate, the valves always stayed open for the floor heating. So it was just going round and round and round and round. So I ended up controlling the, the temperature of, of this big room by how hot the water was so that the water was always circulating. And that's not real efficient. So I was looking for solutions to go ahead and replace these thermostats. And I came up with something on Amazon that I'm like, hey, I'll give it a try. I have, a, I have a Lexus here in the house and we use them to control things. And I learned that I can control the heat in this room with my Alexa so yeah we went and got Alexa these is an American commercial and video game voice actor. as you can video tell she heard me that's the downfall of saying her name so we'll just refer to her from now on she's she's a her so uh, I got the the, the thermostat uh, it is um, from a company called Bioc or B O K. I think it's B O K. Because it's B E O K. And it's supposed to be a smart thermostat that I can link to the rest of my smart stuff here. Because, you know, our lighting here is smart and stuff like that. And it lets me see what the temperature is. And it also, if I forget to like turn them down, it will automatically turn them down. Or if I'm like not even here, I can turn them down from wherever I am anywhere in the world via the internet. So with that said, I figured this was a good option. So let's get this thing out of the box, see what it looks like, and see what we have to go through to uh, get it installed. All right, y'all, so let's get her opened up. And I had already opened it up once before just to, uh, to take a quick look at it because, you know, it's a new gadget. Comes with a instruction booklet. Uh, it came in a, in a plastic bag that I previously took off. Um, it is rather slimline. So it comes with the thermostat itself and a couple of screws to put in the, to put it in the little uh, box that's in the wall and a certificate of quality that has been QC'd and it passed. So that's what's in the box. And it, it has some heft to it, it has some weight. So hopefully she's quality and I don't have to worry about uh, having to replace this in a short amount of time. So yeah. We'll see. Right, y'all, let me show you what the uh, the back of this looks like. So, 
you can see it has a line or load neutral a neutral out to the thermostat and then it has open and close so the way that's going to work and i've read the directions a couple of times over is if you have a normally closed um, valve on your your flooring uh, control if it's normally closed you want to wire it to open and if it's normally open you want to wire it to close so uh, what this does is supply power to that valve and will move the valve opposite in the direction that it's normally in that's the easy way to think about it so I had to look up my valves because I wasn't 100% sure like where, you know, what they were. So I looked up the part numbers and everything and I have a normally closed set of valves. So I'm going to wire it to, of course, load, neutral, power, and then to the valve itself, I'm going to feed it a neutral. And then, because mine are normally closed, I needed to power it open. So I will hook it up to the open um, terminal. So I'll use terminals one and two for powering the actual thermostat. And then three and four will actually be hooked up to my valve because I have a normally closed valve. If you buy one of these and you have a normally open valve, you need to, of course, wire it to three and five. Because you'll have to supply the neutral to the to the valve control and then you'll have to make it close on number five so let's get to putting this thing in and see how how much problems i have because it's going to need to be hooked up it's going to need to be programmed i have to fix the wiring on the other end of this system yeah so it's going to be a little bit so here's the original ones we'll pull this one out Now, if you're doing this, you want to make sure that the, that the power is cut, of course, because you don't want to electrocute yourself. Um, these wires go all the way into where the, uh, the wood boiler is, and there's nothing on the other end of these right now. They're just hanging, so I know there's no power. So I'm going to pop these wires out. Maybe. Of course, if I didn't have a camera rolling, they'd pop right out. Okay, old one out. So luckily when I built the room, I installed five wire. Um, and the key to this all is that all the heating system gets its power off from the same location. Um, I could have taken power from the switch down here, run it up, stuff like that. But I wasn't sure if I needed to supply low voltage or high voltage because the... Um, the wood boiler wasn't installed yet, so what I did was I strung five wire, uh, 1.5 millimeter, from here to where the heater is, knowing that I would power any of the, the heating system this way so that, um, you know, let's say the power goes out, I can power the whole heating system from one location. This way I could fire up a generator and like plug the heating system in and everything works. So that was the idea why I went with that. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna use the normal wires that you would if you were hooking up a light here in Europe or here in Germany, and we're gonna use and we're gonna supply the power on the brown and the blue. So of course, blue being neutral and the brown being the load wire. And then we have the black and the gray. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to use the black for the neutral and the gray for the signal to open the valve. So I have to take this little plate off. I have to get everything set up. So let's do that. So looking at the metal plate that I have and then looking at the back of the thermostat, the thermostat has the screws at three o'clock and nine o'clock. And well, I have my screws hit at 12 and six. So we're gonna have to clock this box 90 degrees in order to use this. So that I'll have to do all that in the process. That wasn't so bad. So we got the box turned 90 degrees. Not so bad. All right, now that we got the box turned the 90 degrees and we're ready to put the wires on the back of this, this, there's two little tabs on the bottom, there and there. And you're gonna wanna take your little screwdriver and just gently pop them loose and that'll take that off of there. And be careful, there's a little wire behind it. And what we need to do is we need to get access to those two screw holes right there. And we'll use the included screws to install it in the box. Okay, so this thermostat is gonna have these screws on the bottom to tighten the wires. And you're gonna have to loosen them up a little bit to get the wires in because they're cinched down for shipping. So you'll have to open them up a little bit so that you can start feeding your wires. So just like I had said, I'm gonna feed, the brown wire is gonna go in the L terminal because I'm gonna supply my 220 volts down that wire. Tighten that up. Then I'm going to take my blue wire and my blue wire is gonna go in my N terminal. So it'll go in N. And we'll tighten that one up. And then like I was saying earlier, I'm going to use the black and because I'm used to like DC, so the black is the negative on DC, negative neutral. So I'm gonna use the black out of this five wire bundle to feed, feed the neutral out to the valve. And then last but not least, the gray wire. And remember, because my valve is a normally closed valve, I'm gonna put my gray wire in the open. And I'm repeating myself more for myself that I'm making sure that I'm putting it all together right. All right, so it's all wired up. Now what we'll do is we'll get it <clears throat> mounted into the wall. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we have to go to the other end and get that all squared away. That, that's going to be a little more involved in this. So the screws actually go on the bottom. So you, you'll want to set it up that the... Um, 
the actual uh, screws are on the bottom of the, the thermostat when you're screwing it to the wall because there's the two little top notches that it has to hit. So, let me tilt you a little bit. There you go. And then we'll get the screws in there, which I don't know what I do with my screws now. I'm a looking. Oh, there they are. And my Phillips head screwdriver, what did I do with it? Oh no. There it is. I keep putting tools in my pocket. In my profession, that's a big no-no. So, I'm actually using the original box um, screws, the screws for the, for the actual junction box that came in it, um, because they're a little smaller. So we'll get that set in there. Don't mind my big head being in the way. Let's hook it up there. So I'll hook the top, swing the bottom in. Inside part's done. That looks nice. We're gonna peel this plastic off once I get her powered up. So we're done with the inside portion. Um, if you're just replacing a, um, a setup that's already in operation, you won't have to do the other end. I have to go do this other end only because there's the wire goes to nothing in the moment. So I have to go do the other end, so I'm gonna bring you with me. All right, y'all, you made it this far in the video. Click that like, click that subscribe, or the cat gets it. Oh, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do anything to hurt this thing. But seriously, click that like, click that subscribe. Now, on to more video. All right, y'all, so these are the control valves. These are normally closed valves. So that's why we wired it inside, of course, to make them open. So what'll happen is when it gives power on these wires that go to the valves, it will open the valve and let the water through the system. So like I was talking about inside, we have on the, on the valves, there's a blue and a brown. So a load and a, and a neutral. And what we were talking about inside was we were gonna send the neutral down the black, and which means we need to hook the three blue wires from this to the black wire here. But like I said, if your system is already set up on the other end, you don't have to do any of this. You have to just hook up the thermostat on the inside the way I showed you to make sure, but you gotta make sure, you got to make sure about normally open and normally closed. So let me go ahead and hook these wires up and then we'll power this end up so that it powers the thermostat. And yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll start getting to maybe programming this thing. y'all so now she's powered up and it's got numbers now it's time to do that magic where you peel off that plastic that's so satisfying all right so it lights up nice hopefully that's showing up on there I'll I can't really tell but it has all its settings the time is wrong right now, but we gotta manage to get this hooked up to the smart stuff. So, time to break out the manual 
and figure out what we got to do and <clears throat> get the smart side of this done. So let me go get the book. All right, y'all, this was easy. So I downloaded the app. It's an app uh, specifically for this one. Um, it was the Toya Smart. So T-U-Y-A Smart app. And I'll tell you what, I downloaded the app. I, you know, of course you have to register, do all that stuff. And I'll tell you what, like, I clicked the plus sign to add a device, and it was instantly there. Got to rename it, integrated it with my Amazon device. Uh, I can't say her name because she'll start doing things. Um, but this was, this was easy. Easy, easy. And, yeah, so uh, I'm going to play with it a little bit and make sure it's you know what I want and then I'll buy two more for those other two circuits that are in this room and if that all flushes out and everything's good we'll look at doing all the radiators that are in the main house so this is uh, this is a win and yeah I like it because now I can see what the temperature is in the room and yeah, it, this this will work out. I, I like it. So, good deal. So, I'm going to get this out to y'all, and hopefully, you learned a little something. And you know, I'll uh, post more about my experiences with this when I do the other two. And obviously, if I'm going to be doing the other two. It's a good experience. If not, well, then you can read into it from there, right? But, as always, if you're thinking about family, if you're thinking about friends, give them the WhatsApp or the WhatsApp because you know you'd love to hear from them too. And until the next installment, Auf Wiedersehen.